Welcome back to Gardening with Tracy. Today, we're gonna to be planting potatoes in the straw bales. I've got a couple different kinds of potatoes to plant. I'm gonna be planting uh, red sea potatoes, and I've got also a Yukon Gold sea potato. Now, if you don't have the uh, sea potatoes that are bought, you can take potatoes that you have at your house. Um, then I have these are just some Yukon Gold that I bought at the store, and they have already started to sprout, so I really need to get these in the uh, bales. Some people will take and cut these, slice these the day before and let them dry overnight. You can do that, and I have done that, but you can also just take these and cut them and plant them, you know, just as is, and they will do fine as well. Um, if you do cut them the night before, that just kind of seals up that side that's been cut. It will, like, dry out a little bit. Anyhow, you can take and cut those with a little paring knife or with garden pruners. And another thing you're going to need is just a piece of wood. It's just a scrap piece of wood or a like a scrap PVC pipe to make your holes. The uh, Yukon Golds and the Red Potatoes, you can plant about three of those in a bale. You might could try more, but I think three would be sufficient. Um, some of these larger potatoes, I would only do one to two in a bale. So um, I'm going to try planting one of these and then the uh, red potatoes and the yucca gold. So let's get started. On this potato, you can see you've got one, two, three that have already started sprouting, but each of these are an eye. You want to make sure when you cut this that you have at least two eyes per piece to plant in your bale. So I can probably do about four on this one. I am going to cut this like halfway down the middle here. And I've got one, two, there's actually going to be about three on that one. So this is what you're looking at for your seeds. And on this one, you can easily see I've got one, two, three, actually I've got four on that one, but I've got at least two, so that works. Before we get started in planting these, I wanna remind you to make sure your bales are not too hot. You wanna make sure that you've conditioned them and you've let them cool down enough that you can put your potatoes in the bales. Because if you put your potatoes in here and it's too warm or too hot, your potatoes are just going to turn to mush and they're going to rot and whatnot. So make sure that your bales have already cooled down. I conditioned these bales. It's been about a week ago I finished my conditioning process. So they're good and ready to start planting. So what you want to start out by doing is you want to take your stick and you want to measure how deep your bale is because you want to put these potatoes as far down into the bale as you can get them so i'm going to just use a marker you could just use your hand you could just hold it where it needs to be i'm going to mark about where the top of the bale is that way i know how deep my bale is and i can go about that deep or just a little bit shy of that and we can get these put in the bale now what you want to do you want to take your stick I put some gloves on to keep me from getting some splinters and we're gonna so, that's about an inch or so inch and a half two inches from the bottom of the bale which is great and then take and just waller that out just a hair and turn it because this is bigger than my potato seed anyhow Okay, now that we've got these holes ready, we're gonna take our sea potatoes, which I'm gonna show you what they look like. They've already started sprouting. I bought these a few weeks ago. Um, they've already started. I'm gonna make sure you got a couple eyes, uh, at least a couple eyes on each potato, which these are, they're pre-bought, so they're pretty well ready. That one, this one I'm gonna plant just I'm going to drop that one just down in there, and I'm going to take my little thing and put that in there. There we go, and I'm not going to close these up. We're going to leave these open and wait for them to start sprouting, and they'll come up and start coming out of the hole, and that can take two to three weeks, so just be patient, let this happen. 
don't worry about it, don't bother it. And you can even look down in there and probably see them going uh, if you just are just get nervous about it. But just give these two to three weeks to start sprouting. And once they come up out of the hole, you're gonna take it, just push the bale, push it together to kind of push it around that. And potatoes, they're tubers. So what you're gonna have, you're gonna have your stalk coming out of here and you're gonna have potatoes growing along that. And this bale, when it's time to harvest, you can just knock it over, cut these strings, all the straw will fall apart and then it'll just be loaded with potatoes. You should get about a bushel of potatoes out of each bale. So it's exciting whenever it's time to start harvesting the potatoes. And one thing about it, when you do them in straw, you're not gonna have to deal with the dirt. So you've got really clean potatoes uh, as it comes out. Not that that makes them any better. They're just clean, a little less, less dirt to fool with. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and finish up with planting the rest of my seed potatoes in my straw bales. But I just wanted to drop in here and give you a quick video on how to do this and show you how simple it is. And if you haven't planted potatoes already in your straw bales, you ought to try that this year and <clears throat> get you some potatoes going. If you like my channel and you like the information that you're getting, please subscribe to my channel and I'll try to bring you some more videos like this and get back with you on different gardening techniques. This has been Gardening with Tracy. Thank you for watching.